when Indonesia's own homegrown unicorn startups, known as Gojek and Tokopedia, had their merger in the early months of 2021, it sparked many surprises. These two internet corporations together would finally dominate the entire digital industry. They would engulf a huge market share together. Tokopedia was a company that had more than 100 million active users before the merger, and Gojek was Indonesia's first unicorn and decacorn startup that was like Tokopedia a robust company. Prior to the merger, Tokopedia was valued at more than $7.5 billion, whereas Gojek was over $10.5 billion. Merging together meant that not only will they mix their valuation together, but even increase it due to the new competitive position the two held. At the time of its initial public offering in the Indonesian stock exchange, the entire merged company, known as Goto, was valued at nearly $30 billion. This meant that Goto Group was one of Indonesia's Indonesia's largest companies ever, one that is slowly rivaling that of other mega-internet corporations around the world. However, despite many praises around its capability to become Indonesia's number one and eventually the entire Southeast Asian region, the truth of the matter is, it would not be easy. You see, the merged group was supposed to help them join forces and create a super company, one that would triumph over the competition. But the problem was, there were still larger forces in the market, far larger than Goto Group, which simply meant that even though they are now together, it was still not enough to compete against the behemoths of Southeast Asia. These competitors were known as C Limited and Grab, two companies that are valued more than Goto Group. They make more sales every year, have more money in hand, and have a higher chance of success to actually be the largest player in the entire region. However, competition alone was not the only issue of Goto Group. The world recently has been swiped off through a massive wipeout in valuation led by external factors. When Goto Group was initially listed on the Indonesian stock exchange, the share price skyrocketed and helped the company reach a peak valuation of about $31.5 billion by June 2022. However, as soon as these external factors came into play, the valuation had plummeted to about $12 billion by November 2022, wiping out almost all the valuation growth it had incurred over the past years. The arguments stated are often directed towards external problems, but we must not forget about two more factors. The business operations and the company are overvalued. When the company published its annual report in 2021, it showed that the growth the company was undergoing was massive. In 2020, its total assets were estimated to be around $1.9 billion. But by the end of 2021, it had grown to a whopping $9.9 .9 billion. The sales, on the other hand, had grown but at an adequate amount of about $212 million to $289 million. However, despite all of the growth in almost every business aspect, this was not enough to compensate for the $30 billion valuation of the company. How can a company be valued at over $30 billion, yet its sales in a given year were not even near $300 million? Although what stood out was the gross transaction value that amounted to over $29 billion, in the end, if the company can't make enough money from its fees in this transaction value, then it still makes no sense for them to be valued at 100 times their sales. Well, most of the claims made by many analysts or investment managers have always attributed the company's valuation due to its advantageous position in Indonesia's digital economy. The archipelago is a massive domestic market, after all. According to Bain Analysis, the digital economy of Indonesia was estimated to be over $63 billion by the end of 2021, but will grow to as much as $360 billion by 2030. Therefore, everyone had taken in the concept that Goto Group would eventually become a huge conglomerate due to this rising trend. But here's the thing. Goto Group is not the only player in the entire Indonesian digital landscape. Just because they were out of the first and came out as the most favored by its customers and even investors, competitor presence was still big. As we noted earlier, two Singaporean-based companies known as Grab and C Limited possess a far wider array of experience and capital than Goto Group. If there is anything competition will ever teach us, it is the fact that it always kills profitability. Since Goto 
Kyoto Group will always need to reinvest all of its profit to ensure it keeps up with the competition. However, this competition has also impacted another factor – normal business operations. To ensure the company keeps up to date and increases its operations, they need to burn a lot of cash. Since much of these are used to market their goods and services, ensure that their visions and dreams for the company stay in line. They have to do all of these in excess due to competition. As of the latest available data from 2018 to 2021, the company every year reported a net loss. In 2018, it reported that it lost over $810 million. By 2019, it lost a further $1.7 billion US dollars. By 2020, another billion dollars. And as of the latest annual report, over $1.4 billion. Even in the first six months of 2022, it has even shown that the company lost over $573 million. If anything, the company is burning millions to billions of dollars every year, and they are most likely expected to burn more money in the coming years. For what exactly? Survivability, competition, and growth. Now, this brings us to the question, is this sustainable? Is burning billions of dollars every year practical? Or in fact, will Goto Group even survive if they continue to do this? Well, you see, Goto Group burning money every year is not unique. In fact, C Limited behind Shopee and Garena and Grab Holdings also burns millions to billions every year. This is because each company is trying to segment itself as the better player through marketing, product development, or whatever there is. However, reiterating our statements earlier, both C Limited and Grab Holdings are by far larger companies than Goto Group. For instance, the cash held by Goto Group is around $2.3 billion, yet C Limited holds over $8.6 billion, and Grab Holdings with over $7.1 billion. Therefore, quick speculation can determine that Goto Group may have a lesser hand in this competition then does that simply imply that Goto Group will fail? Well, not exactly. What we need to understand is that this competition will continue to go on forever, unless something bad happens to one of the companies. What is enabling this competition is the fact that each company can easily raise money. By raising money, they can continue to burn more cash every year, raising money through debt, share insuances, and other means. Recently, however, these companies have realized that these are not sustainable. Hence, Goto Group announced that they will be cutting a thousand jobs in a bid for profitability, whereas C Limited even announced 7,000 job cuts. Anyway, in the end, it was due to these business operations led by competition that is harming the company's valuation and future prospects. And the company, after all, can't obviously continue to keep on raising money. But wait, if the company can't continue to raise money, what then? The final concept before we answer its prospective fundraising is that in the first six months of 2022, Goto Group continues to post record revenue growth on its on-demand services, e-commerce, and all other segments. This is due to one factor. Even though there is stiff competition ongoing in Indonesia, there is still a huge potential in the entire landscape. In other words, there is a lot of room for them to continuously grow. Therefore, as projected by Bain Analysis that the entire digital economy of Indonesia will substantially grow every year, what the underlying impact is that Goto Group is continuously expanding its business not just by competing against other businesses, but also tapping into the opportunity given to them this very day. The digital pie, in other words, is still massive. Therefore, in our opinion, if Goto Group can continuously operate in this manner, where strategies coincide with how much money they can burn and that it is kept at a respective figure, not one that over exceeds expectations, then Goto Group can survive. Now, Goto winning against their competitors will be difficult to say, but what is sure is that they will continue to operate. But anyway, if you want to understand more about Goto, we have made a video about it which you can check out right now. Do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.